Photo, what's up, man? What's going on? Hey, hey uh, Josh McDaniel, before he got fired, was, that, was in a locker room because he lost the team. The team didn't talk to him. They didn't want him. When he come in, hey, hey, whatever, win or lose, the team, they weren't talking to him. Everybody was talking to each other. So you saw that. He had inter internal, internal piss. Was a leader of men, a champion. He was one of the great giants. All right, uh, um, as, a, as, a, as a New Yorker, yeah, we're well, former New Yorker. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a Pennsylvania now. So, but former New Yorker, I, I, I would see him as a good dude. Uh, um, he, McDaniel had him speak, and Pierce decided to he talk about the Giants season, the New York Giants. They were when they were down, and how the Giants rallied together as a team so they could win, right? How they rally as a team to win. And during that, that season, they form a bond together and they wanted to win for each other. And when they went against the Patriots, how they were able to beat the Patriots. The entire locker room from the owners the entire management that everybody were in the locker room when McDaniel McDaniel had you know asked him to speak to the team because again when he walked in he was embarrassed because all the owners the owner his family everybody was they were in the locker room and and they saw that he lost the locker room so to, to he asked you know he asked Pierce he asked him to speak. So that speech he gave, he gave a speech about the Giants, the New York Giants. Because he was part of that team, part of that championship team. How they rallied together as a family, as a unit. And they came out that season when when they, you know, they beat the Patriots who had, who had an undefeated season and beat the Patriots. The entire management team, the entire team, coaches, everybody, that, that entire locker room went crazy. Only one person that didn't like that speech it was McDaniel. McDaniel did not like that, like that speech at all. <clears throat> the players laughed. McDaniel walked to Pierce and said, hey, don't you ever talk about the Patriots like that again. McDaniel, McDaniel who lost the locker room, lost the players. Devonta Adam, all of those guys didn't want to play for him. They were done. Management saw that. After the loss, they went to the locker room just to see it. What's going on? What these guys do? So McDaniel saw that he asked he asked Pierce to speak because he know that the players didn't listen to him. He said, "Hey, hey guys, nobody was listening to him." He was, you know, he he asked Pierce to speak. Pierce came in, yo, everybody quiet, settle down. They all quiet, and he delivered his speech. He delivered a speech and told the team how they can, you know, the brotherhood they have, the opportunity they have, how they can turn the season around, how they can be special. And reference the, the New York Giants, the team he was on, his former team, where they won multiple championships together. And, and he was telling the team how they beat the, 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 the Patriots. How the Patriots were, you know, they were the undefeated team. They had everything going for them. How the Giants didn't. They were, they, they were the underdog, which is similar to, to them now. The Raiders, you know. 
and telling him that that he was born a Raider. He's a fan. He's been a fan. Like you know, you know, like be be proud of the, 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 the uh, um, be proud of the team. All the stuff. Everybody, the, the ownership, the Davis family, everybody, coach, everyone, were in the locker room. The entire locker room erupted. They went crazy. Yes, let's go. And you saw how they play on Sunday. He had them like that. Pierce had them like that. The ownership, everybody was just hype, except for one person. McDaniel walked up to him. So don't you ever talk about the Patriots like that again. And Pierce was like, yo, I give a speech to the team, to, you know what I mean, to whatever. He said, I don't care. Don't ever reference the Patriots in a bad light. That's the moment Dave, Davis realized, oh, snap. Pierce is the coach. The players respond to, to Pierce. And boom, at that moment, they fired McDaniel on a day off. Call him up. You fire. We'll pay you your money, but don't come back to, to, to the building. We'll ship whatever, what, you know, they pack, your stuff already been packed. We'll ship it to you. We'll, we'll, we'll let you pay. We'll get, we'll get you all, all your money, but don't come here. Your badge already been deactivated. <laughs> you can keep it for souvenir. That moment, he crossed it. You know, listen, he was already losing. He was he, he was already losing, but Davis was gonna give him one more chance. He was going to give him one more chance. And he crossed himself the job. He crossed himself the job because he woke up to Pierce and said, hey, don't talk about the Patriots like that. Don't ever bring up the Patriots. They're a great team. That's my family. This and that. I won a lot of championship with them. They did what I, what I, you know, dude. You were losing. You lost the locker room. You're losing team. You lost the team. The team don't respect you. And you ask a man to talk for you, to save you, to help you, which he did. And the first thing, you know, you know, you did is to walk up to him to tell him, don't talk. Don't talk about my mama. Don't talk about, you know what I mean? That's what you did. You lost the locker room. And that's the moment. Davis realized, yo, ownership's ahead on. This is not, you know? Pierce is the coach. This guy's not it. You fired. That's the moment. <laughs> You know, and, 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 and Pierce gonna be again. He's gonna be a good coach. He's an interim coach right now, but 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 by the end, by by the middle of the season, almost to the end of the season, he will. They will remove that uh, um, that interim tag and make him the, the, the head coach. Cause you can see the, the player respond to him, and you can see what he's doing. Cause you look what he, look what he said the, uh, the other day. He said, um, if you look at the Dallas. Dallas were winning because of Irvin and, 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 and Emma Smith. He saw the quarterback. I mean, not the quarterback. He, he saw the, uh, it, it was a wide receiver and a running back. And he had the wide receiver and the bunch of Adam and, and the running back. He had that. So he said, number one and number two option. That's it. We're not going and he lets you know this is what we're doing. Run the ball and give the bunch of Adam the, 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 the ball. Every pass. I don't care, he's double coverage, triple coverage, give him the ball. That's a, that's a, that's a winning formula. Feed him. Devonta Adam, when he's, when he's double team, he's open. You'll be an idiot to triple team him, because you've triple team him, you know what I mean? It's 11 men on the field. 11 men on the field, so, so you, 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 you're gonna, you gonna triple team him, you're gonna send three his way, he left you with eight. Which means 
Your tight end gonna eat. Your right receiver two and three, get open. You're gonna eat. And they're not doing that. No, no team's dumb enough to do that. No team's dumb enough to do that. And the only, like I said, you know, when you're looking at the term of press coverage, press coverage, what, what corner besides so, you know, Sauce Gardner, who had a great, great game last night. A great game on defense. Besides him, who's a shot down corner? Who's, a, who's another shot down corner that could, that could, that could man up, match up with Devontae Adam like that? Nobody else. Nobody else. So, so it shows. You know what I mean? It shows. But anyway, man, you know, <laughs> Pierce is the coach. McDaniel cost himself the job because, again, it's ego. He, he should have kept his mouth shut, congratulated him. Hey, yeah, hey, man, that was good. That was a good speech. But he, he took offense to it, and ownership saw that. You lost the locker room, dude. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, it is what it is, man. Sports talk. Your boy recount. We, you know, we're a little busy. This like, you know, road show. You know what I mean? <laughs> a little road show. I said, hey, let me, let me, let me tape up the, these two, these two shows on the road. You know, wearing the same clothes. I might give you a three, a three beat today. I might give you three, three shows today. Who knows? Who knows? Depending on how I'm feeling, man. I was talking about Urban Meyer. I was on, put up on, 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 on that. But hey, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see how I'm feeling, man. <laughs> Sports talk. I'm mad as hell. The Jets lost. I'm mad as hell. I stayed up to watch the game. I'm mad as hell. But hey, Lakers, come on, man. Bam Adebayo had a great game last night. Great game. He dominated, man. That was a dominant man. You know, you know, Anthony Davis. You should be ashamed of yourself. Bam Adebayo, six nine, dominate you like that. It's trash. Anyway, man. Sports talk. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Subscribe, man.